Hey guys, I'm Sebastian, host of Ninth Island Connection, your weekly lifestyle resource for all things Vegas. Check out the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. And if this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you for watching this video, supporting our channel. Go ahead and subscribe. All we do is bring you Vegas. Take a look around. We do room tours, pool reviews, hotel reviews, pros and cons, restaurants. We're not a gambling channel, but we do post a little video here and there about slot machines. So in this video right here, we're at the Flamingo, and this is kind of one of the weirdest rooms that we've ever stayed in. So we wanted to give you guys a tour. This is room 24041, and this is a go room. It's supposed to be a luxury one king. Um, I think luxury for Flamingo just means it's a little bit bigger because this room is not luxurious. It's nice, it's old, but I would not call it luxurious. Let's go check it out. All right, so we stayed in a room similar to this, actually only one similarity, and that is the pull-out couch. But this is different. Same square footage, but different. So when you first walk in, you've got this little hallway here, you've got a mirror, nothing special. And then right off to the left, you've got the bathroom. Now this is referred to as a luxury room, but it's a regular bathroom. Let's go check it out. So you've got your single sink over here, and then you've got the toilet, the tub, and the shower. Now, you know what? These showers are actually pretty cool because I like these little jets right here. You can do that one and this at the same time. And I like to just let that hit my lower back when I'm in the shower. I have seen videos where people at the Flamingo that people have done and said, oh, Flamingo's gross. I'll never stay here again. And mainly the reason they say that is because of dust on these vents here. But as you can see, there's a little bit of, a little bit of rust, right? Because it's old, but they're completely clean. So then right next to the bathroom, you've got your closet. And I hope you don't have more than six items to hang. <laughs> you know, I do like that the closets have their own light in here also. So that way if you're getting up in the morning, you're getting ready, you don't have to wake everybody up. You've got this light here, you don't have to turn everything on. So then you got this big living room space, which, you know, the furniture kind of does it match well i guess this does match that but you got a little chair you've got a big table in the center and this is the pull-out couch you can probably sleep two three people on this couch two or three over there so you can fit six people in here and then you've got this massive workstation so you can actually make a call center in here right you can line up probably eight or ten telephones and just do some cold calling on this Massive workstation. Like, why do you need so much space? I don't know. But you do get free coffee also. Big flat screen, which I like. You've got a little chair here. Extra chair. Put that out right there. And then you've got complimentary refrigerator in the room, which is always a bonus. But don't get any shelves. Now, let's check out this view over here. Oh, wait, first, before we get to the view, we've got buttons over here for your drapes. And that's gonna close them. And then, we're gonna open them up. I do think that it's interesting that the drape controls are here and not next to the bed over there. Because typically when I've seen them, they're next to the bed. But you guys tell me, is this how it always is? Check out this view. I love it. Got a view of Carlos and Charlie's right there. It looks like somebody cleaned the windows, which is always a bonus. You've got the pool, which it looks like it's open. The adult pool is, or the family pool is open down there. It's a pretty nice view though. You've got the high roller over there, you've got the sphere, you've got the mountains, I love it.
Now, as you go into the bedroom area, it's kind of separate, I guess. It's right there, but it's not a separate room room. You've got this big piece of furniture right here. And then you've got a bed, a nightstand on both sides over there, which is nice. And you've got this ceiling fan, which I have never ever seen a ceiling fan in a hotel room in Las Vegas. If you guys have, please let me know. What other hotels on the Strip do they have a ceiling fan over the bed? That's just crazy. This is, I guess it's supposed to be the control for the ceiling fan, but I press all the buttons and it does not work. But whatever. One thing that I really do like here, I'm like back and forth, I'm like, this is weird, but I love this, right? And that's just how it is with Flamingo. You gotta take it for what it is, because it is an old property, but it's nice and clean. Is it modern? No. Is this luxury? Absolutely not. Is it big, comfortable, and clean? Absolutely. And this is the best location on the Strip. Check out this. I, this is the first time I've seen this before, too. Uh, pretty nice. There you have it. Last couple things and then we're done with this room tour. We've also got these two big mirrors over here next to the bed, which I guess it's functional, right? You're getting ready, you're getting dressed, check yourself out, go out and win big. But this monstrosity, like what the heck is this giant? Is this for like go-go dancing? What purpose does this serve right here? I mean, it's round, so you can't put a chair on it and really work. Um, I don't know. You guys tell me. If you guys know what this is for, please, please enlighten us. What is this for? All right, that's a wrap on this one, guys. This is, again, room 24041. It's a go room at the Flamingo, and they said it's a luxury one king. All I know that big difference here is that it's bigger and there's a pull-out couch. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate your support. And again, if this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe. If you guys are already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting our channel. We appreciate you guys. And check out the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. Oh, I almost forgot. We go live every single Wednesday between the hours of noon and 1 p.m. where we bring you guys an update on what to expect if you're coming to Vegas. So we go live on Wednesday, we let you know what's up Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday if it's a long weekend. And we update you on everything. Airport wait times, construction, is the president coming to town? What's going on on the strip as far as sports? Everything going on in Vegas so that, oh, and the weather, so that you can have the best possible time while you're here in Vegas. Also hit us up on social media. We're Instagramming, we're TikToking, we're threading, we're snapping, we're Facebooking, we're doing everything with Ninth Island Connection. Twenty-four hours a day, seven days a week in a city that never sleeps. Ninth Island Connection will take you there. You won't want to miss a beat as we give you a sneak peek inside the biggest, best, and most outrageous hotspots both on and off the strip. Be sure to tune in to Ninth Island Connection with Sebastian Rodriguez every week. Great people, great stories, great connections, only on Ninth Island Connection.